have a group of students from Kellum High School, uh, honors English class as well as government classes, and then we have the Virginia Beach Vocational Center students, um, they're in a legal administrative program, and they're here to celebrate Law Day. The Magna Carta itself was not the blueprint for modern democratic constitutions, but it contained that seed. Judge Stephen Mahan gave a presentation on the Magna Carta. Uh, the students had an opportunity to ask questions, and uh, it was interactive, which was really nice for the students because the court is pretty intimidating, uh, the formality of it, but he made it very uh, enjoyable for the students. We talked about some of the historical antecedents, what led up to the adoption of Magna Carta 800 years ago between King John and some of the barons uh, throughout his realm at the time. And then how those antecedents that uh, we can find in the Magna Carta perhaps uh, planted the ideas for many of the concepts that are now enshrined in our Constitution. They came to the Law Library and they learned a little bit about Wayhead Public Law Library. We're open to the public, who the law library is named after, and then they played uh, Legal Jeopardy and Legal Bingo. Next is a gavel. It was really interesting because we got to actually talk to a judge and be like in the actual courtroom and just experience the actual experience. It was wonderful. The judge, he taught us a lot. We, he got, uh, we got the chance to answer questions and if I can have this experience again, I would love to. The teaching of the Magna Carta as the democratic constitution of America is wrong and a lie. The constitution is a republic foundation, not a democracy. This is all very interesting, but according to the document the old parchment, called the Magna Carta, 1215, Pope Innocent III of England declared the famous English charter the Magna Carta invalid, plunging England into civil war. The Magna Carta was abolished. The truth is, the Magna Carta was between the barons of London, England in a bitter dispute, and the use of the Magna Carta, by proxy stating it was embedded in and for the Declaration of Independence is incorrect. The King of England considered the Declaration of Independence an act of war against the Crown, and the war went forward. In the writings of the Magna Carta, there is not one word in reference to the United States Constitution. The Magna Carta was a proclamation by the British Empire as the sovereignty of authority over countries. The Magna Carta of Islam is also rejected by the people of Islam. The British Empire did not give America its Declaration of Independence, a war did nor did the Magna Carta give the United States of America our Constitution. But the twist of embedding is seen as a disrespect to the Founding Fathers of America. We are anonymous. We do not forget. We do not forgive. We will be watching. Expect us.